Well, first walk us through what it was like to get your first win in the UFC and all the emotion leading up to it for this event. Oh, it's absolutely unreal to get my first win in the UFC. I, there's last six years, this is all I've worked for. I worked day in and day out. This fight camp, I was doing three days, five days a week, so I was just killing myself. And it's all worth it right now. Every single moment of it, every single hard moment where I was crying in the gym or something that was going wrong, it's 100% worth it right now. What are you doing? What's it like to share a, a fight with a, a, a person that you shared a bunk bed with? Yeah. That's got to be a little bit weird. Yeah, Emily and I shared bunk beds for six yeah. weeks, so that was an interesting twist. But I feel like, it, to me, it's just a sport. So it's like going into like a football game. You don't hate the other team. I don't hate Emily. I would still go hang out with her right now after the fight. Like I have all the respect in the world for Emily, and she's a great opponent for me. Do you feel that since you guys had such a familiarity that maybe you didn't have the, the typical octagon nerves, the jitters that a lot of people get? I feel like it almost made it easier that we did have a friendship between each other because it's like your sparring partners almost, like you're friends with them and you punch them in the face and it's like it's just a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> Knowing, walk, go ahead. Walk us through the arm bar, picking that one up. I mean, when did you know that you had it secured in that position that you were in? The arm bar is my move, so. <laughs> um, I have a lot of victories by armbar. I was actually I started going for the triangle originally, and then she just she was leaving her arm out and really defending the triangle well. So then I just switched to the armbar, and then I felt the tap, and I knew I had it tight. And uh, with this win, do you plan to stay at 125? I know you fought a lot of your career at 15. Uh, I do plan to stay at 125 pounds because when. I don't, I'm still, I was growing up, I feel like, when I was 115. I'm only 22 right now, so I started my amateur career when I was 18, and I was walking 112. Now I'm walking, like, 145, so I've just grown up a little bit more, and I think 125 is a better weight for me now. Was the game plan always to try to get it close into and grab hold of her? I mean, was there any thought of trying to keep it on the feet, or what was the um, game plan coming in? The game plan was to just keep on shooting until I got my takedown. I'm a predominantly jiu-jitsu girl. I do want to work on my stand-up. It's not my best asset right now, but it will be in future fights. And so hopefully in the future I'll be able to show that. But um, for this fight it was just to get it to the ground because I know I have a really strong submission game. So I knew it was either going to be an arm bar or a choke and I was going to get it. Speaking of future, you had said that as for a hero, your future self was your hero. What did you mean by that? I mean that I... The potential that I know that I have is what I aspire to be. I know that I do have the potential to be a champion. I do have potential to be great, and that's what all I aspire to be. And how much has life changed since uh, being a hostess at Chili's? <laughs> life has definitely changed a lot since being a hostess at Chili's. I just get to focus on what I love right now, so that's absolutely awesome. It's almost like I don't have a job, but it's, this is my job. It's great. I love it more than anything. So what's next? How soon till you're trying to get back in? I mean, you guys are already picking up the phone, trying to uh, trying to get it going. What's going on? I'm ready for the next matchup right now. Um, I have no injuries at all. I feel 100%, and I love this more than anything. Like I said in the cage, I was made for this, and I just want to get back in there. This is an interesting division, being that it's built around the 16 of you, and you know, obviously the title fights tonight uh, between Roxanne and Nico. But when you look at the rest of the division, like, do you picture yourself against another girl in the house that? You had already I see that as a large possibility that I could fight another girl in the house because we are a large part of the division right now, but I feel like there's also going to be a lot of 35ers and 15ers coming down and or coming up to the division, so I don't know, whoever, I'm ready for it though. <laughs>